Look, it's me, but in computer form. We're going to learn about homeostasis today. All right. So homeostasis. So this word obviously comes from a background that is talking about alike or the same. And then stasis, so like static. It is trying to keep it the same. So homeostasis. is the body's ability to maintain a stable environment, okay? The body's ability to maintain a stable environment. Now that really could mean a hell of a lot of things, okay? A stable environment doesn't necessarily mean we want to keep it exactly the same the same. So we, w we talk about dynamic stability and dynamic stability is more about even though things may go up and down a little bit it doesn't necessarily mean it has to stay the same. So if you think about your body sugar or so your blood sugar, your blood sugar is never going to be always the same but your body's always trying to make an effort to kind of keep it from going down too far or up too far. Okay and we'll talk about ways in which you can do that later on. Uh, now your body, I like to summarize it like this, okay? Your body always will change because of some kind of cause, all right? Once there's a cause, there is obviously going to be an effect in the body. Now that effect might be different. For example, if you have an apple, lots of sugar goes in um, versus if you're running around outside in the oval and it's incredibly hot, there will be an effect. All right, your body needs to make an effort to detect that to start with so that at the end of the day, it can then make a correction, okay? So cause, effect, detect, correct. It's nice and catchy and that's what I'm going to be working with. All right, so we're going to look at all these different parts individually. We have to look at ways in which the body can detect things and I imagine that you probably know some already and ways in which the body can correct things. Right. Now, when we talk about a stable environment, we often think about, oh, well, it's hot, so we're thinking about the outside. What I need you to also think about is the internal environment because it's the internal environment that the brain really detects most of the time. So your nervous system is generally involved in this, but uh, we're really going to be talking a lot about chemical messages and chemical messages uh, mean the endocrine system. Right? So this is a pretty broad topic and you are going to have to learn a hell of a lot of stuff.